God's word is a tool for transformation, illumination, and regeneration. Sit tight and listen to God's servant, Pastor Chooks Etty, as he unveils the truth in God's word, and your life will be nourished and regenerated. There is nothing to be ashamed of. If you have a question, ask it, okay? Because sometimes when you... If I... It is important to ask questions, especially when they are the right questions. It's very important. It's one of the ways to become a, a wise person or to become wiser when you ask the right questions. Very important. So let me... He said, if I have a friend, male, that has invested so much value in me. And I'll try to just read it correctly. And it's and intends going into a serious and strong relationship. I don't know which one is strong, but let's take the serious. Let's take the serious seriously. And let's leave the strong. <laughs> because the strong can mean <laughs> many things. With me. But sets a condition that I must officially submit to his authority. So, we got to understand that this authority is not actually him. But maybe spiritual authority. Whom I'm actually serving and also being accountable to, but have not gotten a leading to submit under him. So my question is, is that a yastic for me to go into a relationship with him? So I want to assume that the yastic is talking about now, somebody has invested in you because that's where the yastic is coming from. Is it? Okay, is that a yastic? Straightforward, no. I know we took time to, but I'm going to still talk about that. Sir, please, what is your opinion about my situation? Your situation is, is serious. That's, that's it's strong. <laughs> it's serious and strong. <laughs> okay, first of all, like we, we said, I'm not going to dwell on this because I think this took our time, but I just felt I needed to summarize it. First of all, I want to encourage, because I'm seeing some persons that are just joining us when we're just answering questions, but we took some weeks to deal on relationship issues. So please go to our Telegram and listen to the series, to the several messages. Now, first of all, it is one of, it is a wrong reason to marry somebody because you think that somebody has spent on you or has invested in you, either in kind or in cash. Are you with me? Come on, are you with me? The reason, if you, the reason why you want to marry somebody or you want to say yes to somebody because you feel this person has spent so much, has invested so much in me, so I'm feeling indebted to this person. So that's the reason for me to say yes so that he can have return on his investment and in some cases high investment. They didn't hear me. Okay. <laughs> For security reasons, I will not say what I want to say. But you see, you see, these days, even women are beginning to invest. Man to <laughs> prophecy. What are you saying? Huh? Let me hear you. What did you say? Who, who will be cooking for the guy? No, I didn't under, calm down first. Wait. 
Wait, don't put words in her mouth. He, relax. Don't, it's not, just face me. Don't face her. Don't, I'm not asking you a question. Prophecy, what did you say? Blessing. What is your problem? No, investment. Sorry, see, uh, okay, relax. This investment don't pass cooking. Investment, you see, these days, listen now. Okay, let me have your attention, okay. Let me have your attention. You know, first of all, even the cooking is an investment, but the cooking has passed investment. You have a situation where maybe the lady has money and he's the one spending on the guy. Spending. Giving. Use this money, start business. Use this money, put in your business. Use this money, do this. Investment. And sometimes the person is doing it deliberately. Because it's a hook. First of all, I, I want everyone, whether male or female, you must be careful the way you receive gifts. In fact, if you look at Proverbs, one of the things that the Bible will strongly advise you in Proverbs is that you should be mindful the way you collect gifts because gifts can make you pervert judgment. It can blind your eyes. So you must be careful the way you begin to receive attention, receive gifts. Don't forget that one of the things that we, you were taught or we taught you is that what you must define every relationship. Every relationship must be what? Must be what? Let me hear you. These people have started again. I will move you people. Because I can't hear any voice from them. Maybe <laughs> every relationship must be what? Define it. Brother or sister, let me start with sisters. When you start receiving so much attention from a brother, ask question, why? This chocolate you are giving to me, <laughs> Why? And you find out that there are other sisters and it's only you that they are giving chocolate. Don't, before you shall praise the Lord, hallelujah. First of all, ask, if when you receive the answer, you cannot thank God. Don't thank God yet. Now, let me tell you this. You see, these are very critical things. I can tell you from a personal experience. I remember when I, before I got married, I was still a young Man, like some of you, I'm still young, amen. <laughs> you know, I, I took one of my daughters not too long looking for admission into university. We went to school. We went to the school. I didn't go with, we didn't go with our, with, with our car. So we went to the school. Why were about going? So we were waiting for a bike. So I got one bike for her. And then to the bike must say, who is to go with your babe or um I said, that's not my babe. <laughs> 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 he said, babe. I said, that's my daughter. <laughs> you see how how people have spoiled. Everything is babe. Once they just see see you with <laughs> you know. Is, there is something I was doing, even though I'm, I'm trying to revive it. There's some, I will, I will take my girls, take them out, one, one, okay? It's not like the group, there was the group going out, but there was like a day out with daddy. So, I tried to talk with them. So, you know now, it's going to be getting a bit difficult now, Maybe somebody see me with 
<laughs> they say, hey! Some people can even go and snap. Pam! Me, you, ma, that person is, is with one woman. <laughs> you know, they are big. They are getting big. So, it, it's becoming risky that the only one I can <laughs> will be gold. <laughs> it's becoming so I said, my friend, it's not babe. This is... <laughs> okay. So, it was, it was during Valentine. For your information, I don't believe in Valentine. And I don't do. I'm not trying to tell you to change your mind, okay? But I personally... So, a sister in church, we're friends, we're in the same department, bought gifts for me during Valentine, Lover's Day. You see, don't take, you see, you know, some, some th- the problem with us is that we take life casually. Now, for example, sometimes people wear clothes. They don't even care to read what is written on what they are wearing. Hey, are you with me? Now, you also have believers who listen to secular music. They say there is no point. And they, they are not even listening to what they are singing. They just think they are having fun. You know, one time I, I went to a filling station to buy here. One young girl, the fellow attendant, was singing. I, I, don't, I don't want to repeat what she was singing. And she was singing the thing. <laughs> The thing is not, that's, I say, is it how mad people are? But he's thinking he's having fun. Now, back to what I was saying. So the sister bought gifts for me during vow and gave it to me happily. I said, if I collect this gift, it's a message. Huh? Because it's not as if, Somebody cannot give somebody gift, but he's giving me gift during Val- what is Valentine? What do they say? What is the meaning? Do you know what is what is what is Lover's Day? What do you mean is what do they what do you what is the interpretation of Lover's Day? So that means if I receive that thing, I've implicated myself. And you see, when it comes to destiny matter, let me tell you, listen to me, every young person here. Listen, listen, and open your ears. And if possible, write it down. You see, when it comes to destiny matters, don't care too much about how the other person is feeling. Because that's one of the things that get us into trouble. We know we, what we are doing is wrong, but they are saying, if I, if I do the right thing, it will hurt, hurt the person. Hurt. What did I say? I give you permission to do what? For your, both for her destiny and your own destiny. So I returned the gift to, the, to her. I said, look, I don't do Valentine. She was angry. I returned it. In fact, and I got a wind of what she was thinking. What I said, look, there's nothing between the two of us, so this, we are just brothers and sisters. There is nothing. In fact, I told her, I said, from today, like this, stop waiting for me. Because then we're in the same department, we're in choir. So she wait for me. I was one of the leaders in the choir. Even when we're having leaders' meetings, she will wait. Then when we finish, we're going. Then I'll get to my house. I said, beginning from. Today in Abalia. <laughs> Don't wait for me again. Go home. Whenever. Just go. You know what happened? She stopped talking to me. So I knew that there was a problem. See it? That means she was already not seeing things. You see, and that's how we, we cause problems for ourselves. We... We're doing, just doing things anyhow, receiving, hanging out, 
So somebody is interpreting hanging out to mean that there is a relationship. Is it not? And brothers are fond of making that mistake. Somebody is laughing, showing you 32 teeth. Say, Kai. She has something for me. You don't have anything, no. <laughs> so you be careful. See, what I'm saying, what did I say? Define what? Every relationship. So you don't marry somebody because somebody is as invested. And that's why we're telling your people, okay, you are not in a relationship. Why are you poor? going to Mr. Biggs, going to, going everywhere. What are you going there to do? You go the first time, go, 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 ten times. You will pay. Oh. What are you going there? You say you are dating. Date, dating is not a Christian language. You are going out. To where? Where are you going to? To where? To know where. And that's why in that going out, before you people know it now, you start misbehaving. Because relationship is undefined. So you are going out. Going out. And both of you, you are not ready for marriage. What are you going out? Going out how? So, it is not, don't, you don't marry somebody because somebody that is, how, that is like marrying out of pity. And that's a wrong reason to marry. Okay? Now, and for you as a brother, stop intimidating sisters, okay? Now, the other issue of authority, let's look at it in two ways. I, I want to leave that matter, I know for the sake of the people who are not here. First of all, we're looking at, we looked at, we try to look at it in two ways. Let's assume that the person, because from, the, from what they were saying, from this thing, both of them are in the same fellowship. Let's assume that the same fellowship. And then, both of them are supposed to be answerable to a particular person. Is it not? Now, if that lady is in that fellowship and he's not seeing that person as a spiritual authority yet she is there let me tell you this the truth is that one that is a red flag are you with me let's assume that's that's the first meaning of what they mean that's a red flag for the man it's a red flag for the man because that is danger signal because two of you cannot be in the same place and then the person has a different opinion about the is already a red flag and let me tell you this you can you can't try to make somebody to change before you marry the person it's not a, you, it's not it's, it's not done because what you see is what you will get. <laughs> what you are seeing is what you're going to get. So don't come and give somebody condition and say, see, it's already a, a red flag. Don't try to now say, bend the person to change. Then do this. Then so I'll, before I'll marry you. What, what, what is that? Please, never you try to change anybody as a condition to marry the person. For example, you say, stop smoking. If you, if you want us to really, if you are interested in marrying me, you have to stop smoking. Or you have to start coming to church. Are you okay? That, that is already a red flag. So the person can say, okay, just to let proof to you that I truly love you. See this one I'm smoking. <sighs> <Fire>. <laughs> Do 
Just let me smoke this one. I'm, I already bought it from Musa. It will not waste. Let me, this will be the last one. It will pour some on your face. Finish pudding. That's the last time. Can you give me Tom Tom? Let me. I've stopped. Is it okay? <laughs> Sometimes the, the person can stop or stop smoking where you are before you. And then sometimes the devil, especially if the devil is, means you, the person will stop for the sake of marrying you and then marry you. He has arranged two parts for you people's honeymoon. <laughs> or during the honeymoon, self, there won't even be anything. Then one day you come back and see the person. He said, Ah, but I told you, he said, You have stopped. Yes, I've truly stopped, but you see, you get as it be. I'm tensed. <laughs> In fact, and when I'm tensed, I need something <laughs> to calm me down. Don't try to change anybody. So, it's a red flag, okay? Then, on the other hand, if it is just a question of he wants, the, like we're looking at it last week, for the person to just be close, just be, he wants the person to be Closer to the person. Okay? Now, I'm going, to, I'm going to say it in two ways. First of all, I don't even see that as a problem. If it is just about closeness. Okay? First of all, we must understand that people are different. Are you with me? Now, let me say this before I say that. Now, that you, mar you are married to a person, one of the things that also makes, affects marriages is because sometimes when people are in marriage, they choke themselves. What do I mean by choking themselves? Is that they don't give each other breathing space. You say how? Okay. Why is that that you married somebody does not mean that the person has lost his personality. We're not talking about something that is sinful. Let's assume you married somebody who is quiet, who is not outgoing. And you, you are sanguine. You can't stay in one place. And then you now want to make this person to be like you. You must, rec you must respect that person's... You see, everybody must respect each other's, even though you try to, like, have a win-win situation. Do you understand what I'm saying? But the one who is quiet should not have say, sit down. We'll be sitting down at home and be looking at each other. And I'm sure you know that most times, if not all the time, opposites attract. Now, and, and, and I'm going to tell you something. That same thing that attracted you to the person is going to be a problem when you marry. <laughs> Samo, he, he knows what I'm talking about. You see, because you, you are carrying me, they go. Papa carry me, they go. Okay, so when you come to church and you find that sister that is not talking to anybody, it will be like a wonder. The eighth wonder of the world. How can somebody just not like? So, and that's what will attract you to the person. You now say, Sister, I've been looking at you since you came to this church. You are so quiet. You are so. And oh, and I, I just like the way you are. Oh, thank you. Be like him. <laughs> that's what will attract you, and people will marry. Now, by the time you now marry, you now say, how are you? Fine. <laughs> it, it will just be one word. You, you want to be talking. You, 
The person also is also attracted to you that because you are always talking. And when people marry, you are talking, we want to weary the person. You say, Kai. <laughs> so, you see, if you don't know how to manage that, that's going to be a problem. Now, because you have to learn to learn how to listen. Even if, even if you are not like enjoying it, you say, ah, wow! <laughs> you <laughs> just laugh. <laughs> even though your heart, you say, why don't you go to the end of the story? I'm interested in the... <laughs> and you know, mostly, eh? <laughs> Timo, <laughs> are you with me? You are full-time. to <laughs> You see, now let me tell you, but mostly men, you see, let me tell you the, the challenge. That, the, somebody might tell me a story for two hours. <laughs> My wife has seen me discussing with somebody for one hour, two hours on a matter. And she now said, what is this in a, within five minutes I've finished. <laughs> five minutes I've I finish. You see, you mean all these things that you have been talking? Is this just <laughs> our end is headline news? Bam. <laughs> just attend to the thing that it, he came, he went. The thing that happened in between is not important. <laughs> the thing can be frustrating. Then me, when I want to find out, I'm, in, I'm not interested in the, I want the flat key points. In fact, I'm interested in the end. Ah, but my wife would take me, <laughs> that's the journey like this. <laughs> Details. <laughs> he said, okay, I even forgot something. <laughs> There was one point I missed. <laughs> so you have to enjoy it. <laughs> you have to don't say, hey, what happened to the end? <laughs> you have spoiled it. You once you just go there, you have spoiled it. Just cool down and and just receive the thing. Hmm? <laughs> you say what? <laughs> just receive it and be smiling. Ah, I even ask, you mean this person really did this? That's a... <laughs> so, you see, that's... These are the dynamics. You, you must allow somebody be herself. Because sometimes, these are the things that cause problems. Because you want to force the person to become you. Come on, are you with me? So, we're looking at it on the other side. Now, if that person is not really the outgoing type, in fact, sometimes you may need to, there's a way you may need to encourage the person. Then, but the caution is this. Look, let me tell you what I don't like. For somebody, a brother to be telling you, giving you condition, condition. Don't give somebody condition before people get it. That's, that's nonsense. Oh, you say, okay, the way you are babbing your hair. If you, <laughs> you say, okay, if you want us to get into a relationship, this hair, stop palming it. If you, if you cannot tolerate the palming, leave the person. Huh? Stay your lane. Peace says, I tell you to stay your lane, make the, <laughs> don't, don't you, that's the truth. You can't, you can't be giving somebody condition. You, are not, you say that's the reason. No, no, no. That's off. Are you with me? Are you with me? Now, like I said, you don't even have to. If somebody is doing something wrong, you don't even have to come and give, say change, if, change so that we can marry. That's nonsense. So, there is, there is absolutely nothing so, let's move to John Echo's question. Even though he's not here, 
is did you did you get me did you get that so we must learn to you know accommodate each other because when you marry somebody it doesn't mean that the person is still different do you understand that and you t- you are different is it not eh or you're, th- you're thinking that two of you just start seeing you know wh- when we are talking about compatibility what people understand because the, the person I like rice he likes rice he, that's not compatibility I like beans ah even my beans I like it hot he likes it hot we are, it means we are con- we have the same destiny who told you he doesn't eat cold food me I don't eat ah it means that we can flow that's nonsense. What did I say? That's nonsense. That's not compatibility. Okay, so, <laughs> you know, I told you about a couple that one likes AC, the other one doesn't like, the other one likes light. Once the light on, the other one doesn't like. Now, the question is this. Are you going to run away from the room? You and your wife now, you say, no, me, let me have my room. Let her have her room. That's, it's not, it's, it's not allowed. In fact, let me tell you this. No matter how much money you have, it's a cancer, it's not, it's not a commandment. Don't have separate room from your spouse. Don't say we have plenty of money. Then you, this is my wife's room. It can only be room Maybe where she has wardrobe, but don't put bed there. <laughs> Have one room that two of you, that's where you people stay. When there is a misunderstanding, you stay there. In fact, <laughs> when I was growing up, there's one, one minister that, that said that Two of them agreed that their bed will not be big. So that the bed will be small. So that when there is a misunderstanding, their body will be touching each other's body. <laughs> but you see, when you have separate rooms, there's a the round will just go lock the thing. Back and trouble will be building. <laughs> building. It will be building. That thing will just be growing, feeding. But when you go, you are in the same place. Don't touch me. Why, you, why is your body touching me? Why is your own body touching me? <laughs> Before you know it, ah, is it because of that thing I did? Forget. <laughs> you know, men are so proud, they don't know how to say sorry. <laughs> Is it, is, it, is, it, is it this thing? Is it because of that thing I say now? Is that why you are doing your face like this? <laughs> All that long grammar you are saying, sorry is shorter than it. <laughs> sorry is shorter. It's shorter. <laughs> so you see, it's easier to handle conflicts when the people are together, okay? This bonus. So, I made up my mind growing up, before I married, that there will never be anything like separate rooms. There's a, even if we build a castle, I lay the room, we be like football. <laughs> but we'll be together there. <laughs> so that when the, we'll be there, <laughs> we'll be seeing each other. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, let me get that question. Okay, it's, now the question is this. He said, is it out of place for a young man to put a pause to his relationship because of financial constraint? Hmm? 
John is not here, I would have asked him a question before I start answering his question. Now, the question I, w- I want to ask, because this could mean two things, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. It could mean two things. Either the person is in a, already in a relationship, and then because of co- uh, financial constraint, he now decides to pause. They are like this now. Or it could also mean that the person decided to pause his relationship life because of financial what constraint. That means he decided not to go, go into a relationship so that he can deal with his finances first. This could mean, okay, now, One of the things that, okay, let me, there's another question that looks similar. So that, I, let me see if I can attend. One of the new, the new question that somebody sent, okay, uh, is very similar. He said, sir, until now, okay, it, is it proper for someone to set a goal that he or she wants to settle down maritally? In three years. So that he or she will start by acquiring marriage skills, financial skills, and knowledge, and so on. Okay. So the person is asking, can I set marital goal now and say, okay, I'm going to marry in three years' time? Or I'm going to marry in five years' time. Now, give us Proverbs chapter 16. Proverbs chapter 16. I'm going to try to see to how I can fuse these two questions. Now, I, I don't, there's nothing wrong in setting, trying to give yourself, uh, I don't want to say deadline. Set goal when you want to marry, especially uh, as a man. Okay? Are you with me? Now, the Bible says the preparations of the heart in man, the answer of tongue is what? From the Lord. Give us verse 9, then we'll try to read other translation. Verse 9. Give us verse 9. The same Proverbs 16, verse 9. A man's heart devises what? His way. But the Lord directed his what? His steps. So, that means there is there is a synergy between God and what? And man. A man's heart, you can there is nothing wrong with you planning. Okay? Are you with me now? From these scriptures, there's nothing wrong with me saying, okay, this is what I want to do or I would like to at- achieve this by so so time, looking at marriage. Nothing wrong with that. But where you have a problem, you must now, or let me not, let's not bring the problem now. But the thing now is that you have to be flexible. Hey, are you with me? Now, where there is problem is where people now say, okay, I want to marry in five years' time and the thing is, become, is now becoming a a what? A God. Somebody say a God. Or you are now here. It is either that time or nothing. When that time is almost close and there is no possibility, you now want to get it by fire, by force, by hook or by crook. Or you now say, God, you know I told you that by my 30th birthday, if I'm not married, no. In fact, God, anything I don't care. Whether he's a goat, he goat. I want to change my name. You already, you already, let me tell you this. And what people don't know is that sometimes, eh, you see, the devil capitalizes on your desperation. All the time. 
In fact, when you, when you begin to make statements like that, you are setting a trap for yourself. And if the mercy of God doesn't prevail, you will be in trouble. So, now, there is nothing wrong with you having such plans. But you must make allowance that God might have other agenda for you. Is somebody with me? And that is why you say, okay, this is what, and that's why the Bible would tell us to say, to say things like, by God's grace. Hey, are you with me? Have you read that scripture in James? That you should not just say, I'm going to go here. I wonder if somebody saying something. You, you, by God's, so you be flexible. Because so that as you are trying to pursue that, just in case that, that when you are making that plant, and as you begin to press into God, God is showing you something different. And do you know, do you know sometimes God may communicate by not doing anything about your request? That's a communication. Hey, no. Did you, wait, did you get this? Did you get what I said? You, you do everything that you want to do. Go, and you are seeing that God is not answering you. Or nothing is happening. It's an answer. <laughs> so why are you laughing? Sometimes God's silence is an answer. is a communication. Don't think that God always answers by talking. God answers by not doing anything. You must understand that sometimes delay can be for your good. That God is trying to delay you. He's not holding the thing away from you. He's just keeping it for you. He's delaying. So he can, you can mature. Maybe you are not even ready. Maybe the people you are even looking at, none of them is the person. And I can tell you that for, from personal experience. Please, let me tell you this. No matter the plan you are making, never become desperate. You remember the teaching that I the teaching I gave that once you become desperate, you are going to make you are bound to make mistake. In fact, you will never you will not listen to instructions because you have already set a. If you are now being driven by that your goal, that your goal has become your god. That's where the problem is. You say fifteenth of December. I want to wait on my birthday. 12, 12, 2012. You know, we just, we just want to make issues out of nothing. Who, tell, who told you that if you marry 12, 12, 12, that that means your marriage will work? We just, sometimes we just want to glory in nonsense. I married in 12, 12, 12. And we begin to build. In fact, some people say it's prophetic. 12, 12, 12. <laughs> Nonsense. Twelve, twelve, twelve. Prophetic. Isn't I've not seen it in the Bible. Nine, 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 nine. It's prophetic. Womb. Go and find out how many people they born 999. Some of them are thieves. <laughs> they are this. It's, it's, those things are. Until you hear it from the mouth of God, it doesn't mean anything. I know some people will not like what I'm saying because, they, you know, we just like being mystical. Mystical. Babalaos. Who told you God is not a Babalaos? We like mysticism. God is no, God is God is not mystical. Good and fine that God operates there is numbering, but it's not like the that one that you are now saying. 
that seven, 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 seven. You know that's my best. But it, it doesn't mean anything. If I don't follow God, I'll be following seven, 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 seven. <laughs> I'm saying, Kai, wow, wow. This is my birthday means wow. And I do nothing about it. My life will just be wow. So, it is not wrong to set those goals and begin to prepare yourself towards them. But where the problem is, let the thing not become a, an idol, a desperation. You see, you must learn to be flexible, malleable in the hand of God. Become somebody that God can bend. Are you with me? Are you with me? Set your goals. No, nothing wrong with them. Okay? But just know that God's plan may be different from your own plan. And it shouldn't be a big thing if you have set a goal that you must marry this year. And here you are. September, don't knock. <laughs> Nobody has come to say, sister, how far now? <laughs> In fact, even if somebody says, sister, how are you now? I can tell you, don't marry by December. Don't say I did not tell you. Because, you see, don't rush. You see, the way people are rushing into marriage, that's the way people are rushing out. <laughs> the way people are rushing in, that's the way some people who are inside, they are trying to, Lord, some people, some people for societal reasons, they are just there. Who them, oh, Lord. <laughs> so they just say, oh, let them, they are just there. Because the society <laughs> at this is that people don't care about anything again. But so, take your time. See, you are not competing with anybody, and that's one of the things I want to say. Don't you are not comp You see, we don't have any destiny mate. You can have classmates. You can have classmates. No destiny mate. Oh. No, all my friends in Kechi has married. Mboko. Mm -mm. You, you people are not, you don't have destiny mates. You know, I've had people come for counseling and they are saying, I want to marry this one. All my friends. Sometimes I, I will have to ask them a question. Okay, those are your friends that are married. How many of them are happy? then there will be silence in heaven. <laughs> See, we're not just marrying so that for marrying's sake. You must marry for a purpose. And remember I told you that marriage can determine whether you, make her, you go to hell. So, the, the brother who is asking... Should I pause? Now, if it is the, that you're already in a relationship, I don't know what, <laughs> you're already in a The question I also want to ask, how long have people been doing that relationship? You see, you see these are, there are certain things that people would go into a relationship without counting the cost. The Bible says, who will build a house without first of all sitting down and count on the cause <laughs> so that the thing can sink. Because sometimes people are just building castle in the air. Say by faith, by faith. Eh? Lord will provide by faith. <laughs> See, the only time you can do that type of thing is if, see, you heard God clearly. Don't ride on another person's testimonial. 
You see, that's one of the reasons why here we keep cautioning that we are not, you see, that's why you can you won't find me coming to ask, ah, why are you not married? Have, have you seen me asking somebody that question? You are 30. 30. That's, you see, there's no point. Whenever you wake up, that's your morning. In this matter. Are you with me? So, if the brother were to be, I would have asked, how long? Because it's possible you're already in your seventh year and you want to pause. <laughs> you're already in your seventh year. Or maybe you have even done doctorate degree in the relationship. People have done first degree, four years. Do masters, one year. Do three years, PhD. In in going out. You, you, you have PhD in going out. <laughs> and then you now say you want to pause. You can't, you can't pause. <laughs> Just bring that sister, two of you, so, submit yourself on Sunday morning. No wedding gown, nothing. So long as you, can, you are earning something, two of you, match here. Your parents, you have sorted out your parents, match, come here. The, repeat after me. I take care, I deal with I declare you man and wife, you will go home. <laughs> what, pause for what? After seven years, are you okay? Is it money pause or something? So, there are many dynamics and the brother is not here, so I need to find, or if, even four years, there you are pausing. Pause. What are you pausing? Pause. Just go. Just as you go, the rest you will divide. Move. <laughs> The answer would be like the, the one answer that God gave Moses. Why are you standing there? Ma- move. <laughs> Straight for your rod. So that's why. Don't just say, say I sat man, you saw one sister, I sang, you now went and proposed. You didn't sit down. <laughs> you didn't sit down. You just say, we love each other. It's enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's when when it's two weeks to your wedding, your account is still red. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> All the things they are preaching in church, you will not hear. <laughs> as, they are, as they are preaching, <laughs> calculate. Rice. Rice is now 25,000. How many? <laughs> Don't rush. And if you are not ready, don't propose. Don't say if I don't pull, if I don't pull, somebody will carry carry her. Let them carry her. Another one will come. You have not heard that the beautiful ones are not here born. <laughs> Let somebody carry. Your own is called, it means it's not your own. If they carry the person, it means it's not your own. Wait for your own. Your own is coming. And when your own come, your money will come. <laughs> and you don't need to have the whole world. You see, that's also what we need to find out. This financial, what is the person talking about? Are you with me? What is the person talking about? I'm married from one room. I'm not ashamed. Amen. <laughs> I was in one room. So, the question is, so th- there are several dynamics. Do you understand that now? Now, you don't need to, but if you decide that you want to be very ready, you are not seen, you know, hey, are you with me? You are not sinning. Because there's, there's nowhere the Bible, so don't allow anybody, you see, we are all different. You must understand yourself. So if you want to be, at least you want to have a level of financial readiness, stability, you are not wrong. Come on, is somebody hearing what I'm saying? You are not wrong. But where the problem is, don't go and pause a sister's life for five years, say seven years. You, behold, you trap the person down with one ring. 
imprison the person. The only thing that can make you wait like that should be that maybe one of the parents. Are you with me? Maybe the parents have not, either the, the lady's parents or the man's parents have not given their consent. Come on, are you with me? That's when you can journey that long. Don't come and see that you saw fine, one fine sister in fellowship. You are in year one. The person is in year one. You say, you now go and bring one ring from SRS Junction. And I said, don't tell anybody. And hook the trap, the person. And then you go are, are doing engineering. Then ask who will go on strike. <laughs> Which one year? So, <laughs> I'm, I'm warning you people. I'm warning you now. I'm warning those of you college, the people who are about to go in, you are going to see them. You see, when you go to school, you are going to see all manner of couples. 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 You see people, they couple themselves. Couple by themselves. Some are living together. Some, even couples inside fellowship. Who said, Mama, be careful. <laughs> you will see coupling. Ha! And, and when you see them, eh, it looks as if they are very happy. Hey, you see Brian Mecca and Sister Nketi, the way they are laughing. <laughs> Say, Chai, now only me. Ooh. Don't join them all. Asu, Asu have not resolved their problem with it. <laughs> you are not ready. Asu and Fred have not resolved their problem. Bro. Don't say Obi is coming. <laughs> Obi may not solve the problem. <laughs> you are be laughing. Let what I'm saying sink. <laughs> You know, you know some people now, they are, they are already in a relationship. The person has traveled to Katangora. The other person is, and is wondering what his brother doing there. The sister's one. Is the sister, will the sister be available here? <laughs> you don't need all those hard ache. You see, that's why some of you are having carryover. <laughs> Car- because you are, you are so distracted when you are brought with quarrel. When you are now in lecture, they are talking. Like, they are thinking you are meditating on what they are. Mm-mm. You don't need excess luggage. See, as a young person, travel light. <laughs> what did I say? Girlfriend is expensive. He said, you, <laughs> do you know what they say in my place? That the person they are backing doesn't back another person. Let me, <laughs> let me demonstrate this. <laughs> See. Come. Now, this one now is depending on me to back. I wish I can... I can carry you. <laughs> so, as, I'm, as, I'm, as he, want, he wants me to back him, then as he's not coming, he now says, God, he come. He says, God, he come and climb. And him, he knows I'm, he, he's not going to be walking on you. He, he, will, he will go and carry God and come to me and I say, I should carry him. And he, drop that God first. <laughs> You can see you, your parents, you know how they are struggling to send money to you. Then you go and carry a relationship put inside. Then you, you send recharge. Even you, you know that you can't recharge. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> eh? You, you know how much you, how you, you go and add, add somebody. Then you, you, now, you now want to please the person. Say, as you come back, they, your parents say, manage this 5K. This 5K is for two months. So. <laughs> they say, this five, don't 
call us uh, after two months. <laughs> after two months. <laughs> then then uh, as you are now going now, you now you now see see gala. You say, let me uh, there's no way I will come without presenting something. And God will betide you. Her birthday is coming. You want to impress from five thousand. If there is nothing, sister, happy birthday. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you how to live light at this level the thing that needs to be bothering you is your relationship with God and your academics don't add trouble of I'm going out, I'm not going out is it they will holler plenty some of you know how many <laughs> <laughs> Some of you, if I, sample, if I interview people, you know the, the crisis is unnecessary. It's unnecessary. While you are in school, focus. Let it be a, a lesser beam focus. Beam focus. You know, you know lesser beam, when, when you focus, it can cut. It can cut an iron. You see, when you have such focus, there is nothing you can't achieve. See, don't bother about what other people are doing. After five, ten years, you will meet. Find out how many of them are married to those people. Go and find out where people gather. You just in case people have not done that, just because of this set up reunion, you will come back. Find out how many of them, all those people we are seeing marching together. Find out who whether they are married. Did I lie? Eh? I went, ah, he said, you didn't marry Ketchi again. It's a long story. <laughs> Some people say, ah, don't mind that. Emeka, Emeka is fraud. That brain, Emeka, we thought he, all that tongues he was speaking. <laughs> In fact, some people will start cursing afresh. <laughs> or some people that want to be modest, they say, it's a long story, fools. So, don't join them. That queue is already long. It's very what? So, you must count the curse. Don't allow your emotions to... Because, let me tell you this. The reality is this, eh? Your emotions, the thing is higher. It's a serious ma- emotions are serious matters. So, the Bible says, who will put fire on the lap and not be burnt? He said, don't wake love before the time. Hey. <laughs> Do you know what that means? That love has time. There's a time for it. And the Bible is saying, don't wake it. Because if you wake it up, when the thing is still sleeping, (laughs) and when it's not time for the thing to wake up, it will consume you. You will not go on hot. Your heart, they will break it. Bangam! They'll break it again. Bangam! Until they scatter the thing in pieces. In fact, your husband may not have the one to hold. That is, that's, you are laughing. I'm telling you this thing, you know. If Jesus does not heal that heart and an innocent brother inherits the heart, that scattered, buffeted, manhandled heart, he will be seeing the husband through the eye of a maker that, that made the heart. Obina. So what anything they aha uh-huh, I can't take it. <laughs> you, you you hey no he's going like a mecca he's going like a don't experiment with your life. Remember Lord's wife. Don't your life is too short. 
to use it and run experiment. Here, young people do what? Here, not talking about the people who are in secondary school. They say they are doing love, writing love letter. I love you. Pass my mother. You are the cockroach, only cockroach in my cupboard. You are the only. <laughs> Can you mean they're even calling you cockroach? You are not even seeing red light. <laughs> You, you are not even seeing red flag that somebody say you are the only cook. Ah, you read it, say, oh, oh, Come on, are you are you getting? Are you with me? So count the cost. Count it. If you are not ready, don't waste your time or anybody's time. Now, in my own estimation, in my own, what I'm telling you now, see, don't go and hook up with somebody for more than two years. Old. For your own health and betterment. Okay, tell me what will become of those people who are in relationship in school now with all this thing Asu is doing. They have been in relationship for seven years. Wasting each other's time. And you see how this thing can be fickle as they are apart. That one now we get entangled to another person. Before long, the person will not be calling you again. Huh? <laughs> Do you know some people, some people are even stupid? They are in school. They will now start having joint account. <laughs> is that what? Is is that word of knowledge? <laughs> is that word of people do stupid things? Which for love. For, that is for foolishness, for lust. Don't be stupid, though. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. If you have a young person by yourself, can you help me preach this message to the person? They say, at this a slap. Bless him. Just touch. Just touch, but say, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Now, let me tell you this. Now, let me tell you this. And you see, if you actually walk with the Holy Spirit, He's going to guide you. He will guide you. He will guide you. Because sometimes when we are doing those stupid things, Holy Ghost is trying to constrain us. We know they hear. Until when they hammer us, boom. In fact, you know the worst is that we will not blame God. We will become angry. Why did he allow me to go into this? Thing? Is he the one that put you inside the thing? Hear the Holy Ghost. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Did, you, did, you, did we get that? So, I think I've been able to... There's nothing wrong. Please, don't be in a hurry. We're not competing. It's not a competition. If you marry at 40... No. See, you may not like this. This is, I'm, you see, this is what I'm saying. Eh? Even though there are implications for... But are you going to marry yourself? The question you are you even going to ask yourself... Now, why are, why are you marrying? What's the purpose of marrying? Is it just marrying for marrying's sake? So that, or the society will say you are married. Is it not to marry the right person so that you can be there and you can produce godly seed and you live ever happy? happy how do they put it? Happy, okay, I've caught all of you that used to watch all this kind of movies. <laughs> <laughs> so 
if you set your goals, but don't be desperate, please. I'm begging you. I'll say this, especially for sisters, because sometimes the sisters are falling into this trap. Don't be desperate. Don't be desperate. Don't be desperate. Marriage is not a trophy. Don't be desperate. It is better to be single than to marry wrongly. It is better to be single than to marry wrongly. It is better to be single than to marry wrongly. If it is an album, I'm releasing it now. It is better to be single than to... It is better to be single... It is better to be. <laughs> what is Kia <Kiyase>? saying? <laughs> Let it sink. You can be happy as a single person. Don't deceive yourself. Don't think that every married person is happier than single people. E O T O. But I can assure you I'm happier than you. <laughs> but you see, it is not done. You can be happy, happily single, impacting and marking your world. Set goals. Let marriage be the last goals. Set other goals. In fact, let me tell you this. Sometimes it is in the line of duty. Don't just stay there, money, I'm not married, oh. you wrinkle. And it will make you unmarriable the more. Enjoy your life. Enjoy the journey. Why you journey? Enjoy it. In fact, it, it will be in, on, in the line of that enjoyment that you're going to be able to meet somebody that. Don't just stay there, pause your life and, and say, no, no, my, uh, mm, mm, mm. every night you are crying. You are getting old. Though. Let me warn you now. Are you? Enjoy your life. Whatever and fulfill your destiny. Prosper. Get money for S class, buy it. Don't say if I buy S class, who will marry me? Enjoy your life. What do you mean? If you have money to build a house, build it. Don't say I'm waiting for a man. Are you with me? When you marry now, if a person has two houses now with your own, you could have three, is it not? And if the person doesn't have with your own, you could have one. And you will not be like they are adding you as one of the properties. <laughs> you will not be like somebody they bought and put in the house as one of the properties. Women, express your life. Are you with me? Don't you, with my husband or no husband, you can be, you can have an exciting life. Okay. Uh, Glory to Jesus. Let me just take one more, then I'll go to the news that I want to cast. Uh, is somebody blessed? Are you learning something? <laughs> okay, so this somebody said, he said, said, in a situation where an individual's assignment is not colorating with his or her partner's assignment while in courtship, how do they help one another? Hi, this question. Eh? What do you mean by each assignment? Purpose is not assignment. Because if you are saying purpose. Now, and mind you, you know sometimes what people see as purpose is that I have a purpose to sing. Singing is not purpose. Now, or I have a calling to be a pastor. Pastoring is not purpose. 
Pastoring is just a means to a fulfilling purpose. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, you see, I don't know who asked this question, so that let me get clarification because, because what people might be thinking that our purpose are, are not aligned. Maybe somebody say, okay, as she's a doctor, me, I'm a pastor. Before we got married, somebody say, That's, our purpose are not aligned. That's, what, that's how people think. Doctor is not a purpose. Pastor is not a purpose. I don't know if, who asked that. If, are you, is the person here so that we can get clarification so that, okay, is, is, what, is that the kind of, okay, can you explain? Or am I in line? Huh? I'm in line. Because sometimes what people are calling purpose is career or profession. Okay, let me, let's hear you. Very, so that's sometimes that's what people are calling purpose. Career, profession, and profession is not purpose. Okay, so let's get... Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma. So, actually, my question is that, for example, two individuals are in courtship and in the process of that relationship, they are trying to know their roles, like in marriage, like just trying to figure out their purpose, know what God has called them. Purpose and roles are not the same thing. Yes, sir. Stick to one. Let's know what they're talking. Is it purpose? Yes, sir. Purpose. Okay. So, is this when a man now he's actually called to to proclaim to rule a particular state, like in order of Christ? I don't know, like in the position of a politician now. Okay. In that position, he should order the ways of the Lord to the people. Then the lady, on the other hand, now is now called to minister the word of the Lord through worship. That is to say, her call is, in, is to be a minstrel, but her purpose now is to minister the voice of the Lord to the church. True singing. True singing. So, sir, in, in that situation now, and naturally the role of a wife, for example, is, also, is to help the man to be an helpmate in, in his purpose. So, they must supposed to work together. Okay. How would they help each other when their purpose now is kind of not... Is it okay. Now, let me, let, first of all, to start with, you are wrong getting into a relationship without knowing each other's, is it a question? Okay. You are, you are, you are wrong to get into, start talking about relationship because that's basically what you are supposed to have sorted that out. I wish I would have time to. I think I. I all right. Now, first of all, the what you are, what the the method you were given is that before ever you you can't be talking about courtship. Is in courtship people are trying to know, discover. You're already wrong. That is supposed to have been sorted out before proposal. Are you with me now? Talking about real purpose, real purpose, I'm going to address what you talked about. Now, you are supposed to have discovered your purpose, then that should have also been discussed. You know the direction somebody is going before ever you now propose. It's not that you are now in courtship, maybe for one month to your wedding. Then you now, what is your purpose? My purpose is to sing the word of God to the whole nation. The one I said, what is my, my purpose is to be a, a politician. And, um, okay, now let me use your example. Let's assume, first of all, did you get the first answer? You don't go into a relationship without sorting those things out first. So that you know whether you're traveling. Now, let's look at it. Even that scenario you gave doesn't mean that those people, 
doesn't mean, you see, sometimes our definition of purpose is wrong. Now, let's assume you, you are married, you are getting married to somebody who, who, who has a call. Because I, I, we're trusting the God that God is going to raise people like Daniel. Raise people like Joseph, Joseph, uh, Joseph who we administer the kingdom of God in our political affairs. Now, now let's assume you are, you are, you are married to a, a governor. Let's assume that. Who is, a, is a, a righteous governor that is administering the will of God? And you, you are the first lady. And you have the gift of your own calling is music ministry. How does being a first lady stop you from ministering? It, we are the ones who are following the world system, the way the world does things. What makes you think that as a first lady you cannot be in, in those expressions? Singing. What makes you think that because you're a first lady you have a, a special seat inside your church? Come on, is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Yes, what makes you think as a first lady that you, you should stop coming for choir practice and say, you know, MD, you know now, my, I'm not the first lady, level don't change. You're expecting your pastor to bow down to you. What makes you think as a first lady you can, you can still not go to the studio and receive songs and minister? You see, we must change our perspective. You know, I, let me give you a typical example. When, when I came to this town newly, 2010, I was a pastor with House of Mercy. And pastor, House of Mercy is not, wasn't, run, is not, wasn't running in Sunday service. So I still had to be a member of a church. And I've been a pastor for five years before I came. I've been in ministry for more than that. And as I came to the church, I went and joined the ushering department. This is why I realized that people were shocked. Because they expected me to come and be. No. I was there. I was in the ushering department. Receiving instruction. And that's why you see me like Ocholi there is going to come now. When I, I come there, he'll say, my Oga, he will, he'll say, he will, be, will just be. Because he was my HOD. I was older than him. I've been a pastor. I've been in the ministry, but he was my HOD. And I was there as a member receiving instruction from him. So what makes you think because you are now a first lady or you are a politician's wife, you're Christian, you now, that is, this is worldliness. That, these are the things that people are doing. What if it makes you think that because somebody is a governor, he will no longer, so long as he's in church, he should sit down, sit down. So long as he's in town, he should be pastored. And he should listen to instruction. If there's any responsibility that he's playing, he shouldn't, that's how, you see, until we get people like that, we will not have Christians who will make impact in the political realm. So, sometimes what we're calling purpose is not really, that's not really purpose. Purpose is not, singing is not purpose. Singing is just a tool a means to expressing. Are you, are, you, are you getting what I'm saying? So, even that illustration that you gave, because your problem is that how can somebody, you are married, a politician, and then you, you are singing. How do they? Mm -mm. That, there's, see, it's, the purpose is not in what they are doing. You can say marry pastor, pastor. Two of you are pastor. And they, they don't say, no, I'm not following you to your church. I, there are people in this town. I have, the, the woman is not attending the man's church. It's as if he, she even have her own this. That's, <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? So we, we, you need, we need to understand what we're calling purpose. Now, for, let me give you a typical example. 
ordinarily looking at it from the physical point of view, somebody would think that there's no way a pastor and a doctor. But, yeah? So, but you need to know she's a doctor, but she knows that she has a ministry. And you can see that it is clear that there is a ministry. See, she's not here because she's, the things that she's doing, she's not doing it just because she's pastor's wife. No. Because it's not every pastor's wife that has a call to the pulpit. I repeat, it is not every pastor's wife that has a calling to what? To the pulpit. Go and find out Kenneth Hagin's wife. Nobody. So, each and every one of us must understand what God is not gain saying. Don't follow trend and say, come, let me, because it's only a brother can use and demonstrate that. He say, everybody is posing like this. We too, we're going to be posing. If it is not given to you, it's not given to you. Let everyone understand their calling and stay in it. Thank you. Now, with the example I gave, you can see now, you see that how she is effortlessly doing medicine and doing ministry. Hey, are you with me? If, if the things that she, she does, some of us are not doing half of that. We are complaining. I think I told people one day, she came, came back from surgery around 1 a.m. By, by 5, we were already awake preparing for service. In fact, that was the days of 7 a.m. growth class. By 7 a.m., she was taking growth class. And after service, when people had gone, she was still there taking afternoon growth class. And while she is there, she's also coordinating how food is going to be done at home. At least now that we have grown up to a bit, she's going to coordinate. Do you understand what? So you need to understand. Don't try to copy people. If it is not given, it's not given. And the grace is, if the grace is not there, you try it, it will finish you. So, do you, do you understand some experience? The calling is not, it's not that somebody is a governor. Governor is not a calling because after eight years maximum, you, you come down. <laughs> come on, are you understanding what I'm saying? It's not the governor that is the calling, no. There may be a calling. You see, what people don't know, there may be a calling to influence the elites or the elites. It's not really that it's that governor that is the what? Hi. Oh, I don't know if somebody's getting what I'm saying. So, sometimes we miss these things up. We say somebody is a teacher and the other person is a lawyer. How will they are? Is it, it's not teaching and lawyer that is, des, that is purpose. So it must be clear to you the exact. Uh, now, to start with, first of all, for me to live is Christ. In fact, that is the main, the main purpose. <laughs> hey, is, is, are you getting what I'm saying? The main purpose is for me to live is what? Christ. So everybody understanding, look at Joyce Mayer. Joyce Mayer, what you have is Joyce Mayer's ministry. The husband is there. 
In, in, anytime she's preaching, the man is there. And let me tell you this. You see, what you, people don't understand, and thank God she says it, without that man, you will not know Joyce Mayer. And your robe must not be visible. And that's the problem we're having in the church. Everybody wants to be seen. Thinking that it's the sin that determines our reward. You may be shocked that on the, the day of judgment that the man will have more reward than Joyce Mayer. Because you don't, the role that that man is playing for that woman to be able to do that ministry. You don't know what it takes. Are you understand? We must begin to understand, really understand where, what purpose is. Are you with me? So maybe we're going to teach that. But let me tell you, your number one purpose is to live is Christ. You are living for Christ. Are you with me? So when you are living for Christ, he now determines what you do with your life and what you don't do with your life. Teaching can be a means, not purpose. And let me also tell you this. Your assignment can change. Hey, are you with me? Your assignment can change. Purpose. So assignment, you can have assignment to minister, be ministering to children now. And afterwards, Jesus said, you are, your time with children has finished. Well, move to minister to prostitutes. Come on, are you with me? See, you must be able to know when God is saying, kill Isaac. And know when God is saying, don't kill Isaac again. If not, you will kill Isaac and think that you have done something for God. So, don't be... Now, we're going to have time and talk about purpose, okay? Now... They say you should go to growth class. Please go to growth class and grow. And, you know, that's why we, that's one of the reasons why that growth class was organized. Because there are certain things you will not be able to. You, you, we have learned that there is a new trend with men slash brothers these days. That look out for ladies plus sisters who have money. It has become a criteria for brothers to assess sisters that are fit for them. Is this right? It is not right, it is left. This is not right. <laughs> What cancer do you have for brothers in these regards? <laughs> Hi. Paul is laughing in Latin. Hi. This thing there. Uh, this is okay. Is it possible for us to start with this next week? Yeah? Because if I if I start with this, can we can we can we can we deal with it next week? So note it, Godwin. You you note this and, and type it and send it to me. So let me break the news. Don't worry. I will turn your Bibles to Psalm sixty six. A new season is upon us. <laughs> Glory. Psalm 66, verse 12. I, I wish we can read from very, very beginning. But let, give me verse 12. Let me see. Go to 11. Glory to God. Move again. Move. 10. 9. Okay, let's start from 10. For the, okay, let's start from 9. Let's go 9. Please bear with me in the next few minutes. We're going to. Which holdeth our soul in life 
and suffered not our feet to, to be moved. Go ahead. For thou, O God, has proved us. Thou has tried us as silver is tried. Thou broughtest us into the net. That's God put you inside net. Have you been trapped in a net before? <laughs> thou laidest affliction upon our loins. Who is doing this? Satan. Is it Satan? All right. Thou has caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire. And fire was not enough. Through water. But thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. Dogs Alive International. A new season is upon us. A wealthy place season is upon us. Now let me announce to you that the path to your wealthy place is not smooth. You see, sometimes we are praying some prayers. We don't know the implications of the prayers that we are praying. And that's one of the reasons why God will show you the end. But he will not show you the process. Because if he shows you, you will run away. You ask him, keep your... Now, see, let me tell you what happened to us. I wish, okay, go back. Let me, let me move, move back from the net. There was one even prison. Now, see, okay, start with that trying. You see, before God with, God with any man that God has not tested, God cannot trust. God will always test us before launching us, before trusting us. He said, you have tried us. That's, he's trying to know the stuff that you are made of. He's trying to prove what is in your heart. What is your motive? He has proved us. Can you give us, let's see some other slim, simpler translation. And tried us. He trained us first. <laughs> it's a training. When you are being betrayed, it's a training. When things are becoming, sometimes things are tough, it's a training. He trained us. You want to go to war without training, you'll be a casualty. Do they send soldiers to war without training? Go and find out. Now, let me tell you this. Your destiny determines your training. No? You see, the way they train doctors is not the way they train soldiers. The training differs. The way they train lecturers is not the way they... The way they train police is not the same way they train soldiers. Real. Your, your assignment customizes your training. Don't go and be behaving like Peter. What of this person? You remember Peter asking question when Jesus was telling, after Jesus rose from the dead and said, when you were young, you were going about where you want to go to. But when you are old, they will lead you where you don't want to go to. And the Bible says, this speaketh Jesus, the manner of death that Peter will die for him. And Peter now says, okay, if this is my own destiny, what of John? Peter, John said, Jesus said, mind your own business. If I say John will live till I come, it's not your business. You know, the thing is that we be, keep comparing ourselves. Comparing ourselves. He trained does first pass us like silver through refining fire. You, do you know what it means to pass through fire? Fire. Fire is not beans. Before you can become edible, fire. Before God can serve you to your generation, He wants to remove in, impurities. Nyama nyama.
He brought us into a, a hard, scrabble country. Pushed us to our very limit. <laughs> you see, you might be in that kind of condition as an individual. You know what happened to us? After last year's conference, there was a prophecy in gathering. From in gathering, it became in scattering. <laughs> Trouble bro. <laughs> Let me tell you, you think that when. The, the, when there is prophecy on your life, it has become a tool for warfare. The devil will ha handle. <laughs> in fact, in, after that last year's conference, things, even the finances of the church, <laughs> came on that. <clears throat> And I remember one of those days I was having a retreat in my office. And Jesus, the Holy Spirit ministered to me. And I wrote it down. And I, I showed that to the leaders one of the times. Road tested, road, test, road tested us in and out. Took us to hell and back. <laughs> Some of you, you are, you, are, you are inside hell now. But the good news is that you are coming out. <laughs> Did you see that? Finally, oh, he brought us to this well-watered place. And that's the season that is upon us right now. I'm telling you. Trouble. <laughs> Everywhere, all manner of accusations. <laughs> Slander. <laughs> As I was praying, I think that was Monday or so. Even though that has been coming, but he said I should announce it. So I'm, I'm declaring it. I'm, I'm following. A, a season is upon us. And if you are sensitive, you're going to know. Now let me tell you this. You see, it is in the plan I wrote that, he said, he said, he told very soon people are going to be leaving. I wrote it down. And I wrote, I read it, and you can see that it's not old, it's not a new Bible for the leaders that I showed the place. And thank God, the day I had that retreat and God spoke to me, my wife came to interact with me while in the office. I wrote, I said, this is what God is saying. And he said, don't bother. He said, after that season, Things are going to break. Now, let me tell you, if you are sensitive, you see that even there is in gathering, three cleaning, small, small. Don't miss your place. Don't, you see, we have, there are even some visions that we have shared with you people. A season. Church, don't start. Now, now, church, they start. Get ready. Don't be left behind. If not, you're going to be, you, the, the thing will take off and you'll be left behind. And when you are, you are coming, you discover that your place has already been taken. So that's the, the news. I'm just a newscaster. And let me talk like my mentor. When they are casting news, you don't, you don't say amen. <laughs> But it's good for you to say amen now. Now let me tell you this. And this also speaks even in our individual lives. Because when God is talking about the church, he's not just talking about the building. He's talking about the people. And a new season is upon us. And let me say it this way. A new season is upon you. 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 And I'd like to say, Dogs the Life International, welcome to your season of wealthy place. And some of you, you know what I'm talking about. Even in your personal life, 
you, you discover that it came under attack that last day. Some of us became confused. You are wondering, should I be here? Should I? Uh, finances. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Somebody very soon, you are going to be paying your tithe in millions. I'm telling you, get ready. Doors are opening right now. He tried us to find out if we're following him because of things. God, God wants to be sure you are following him because of him. He tried us. He can't, you see, he tested us. Welcome. Rise up on your feet with me. I, I wish that we had time. You know, sometimes, you see, it, it's translated say he brought us into prison. It was as if you were limited, you were constrained. And sometimes that it was for your good because you are taking up like tornado. They are thinking you are humble. It's because there is no money. In that, it's in that no money now, real humility now came. <laughs> you, learned, you became humble. Because you are getting ready and say, if this 10 million comes, eh, I will show them. Some of you, maybe by now, you'd have been in Toronto. But he crippled, ensured in, in sure that the thing was flat. So you didn't have option. Your only option was up. You are looking. So I say, Jehovah, remember me. <laughs> but when you, he, without that, you would have had options on your own. Start moving mountains. He, he, he. <clears throat> You see, when you're going to know two things, your maturity is when you have resources. And it's not the resources that is determining what you are doing or what you're going to do. You don't know what it is, so let one million come into your hand. Let you see now. You have possibilities. That's when you remember you can rent a house in Metama. But now you're living in North Bank because you don't have any choice. Even though God is saying not bank. You are not listening. So God said, okay, no problem. Get the one million. Let me see how you are going to move to high level. <laughs> so now you have adjusted and your system has acclimatized. God is now going to bring you into your wealthy place. So that you are only going to do the things that he wants you to do. Not the things you feel like doing because you have the resources. Can you lift up your hands and thank him that you passed through water, you were not drowned. You passed through fire, you were not drowned. You don't look at the things that you, like the things that you went through. Can you go ahead and thank him? Oh, go ahead, somebody go ahead and bless him. He caused people to ride over our heads. It was as if you were powerless. It was as if you couldn't do it helpless. Because you didn't act, it was as if you couldn't, hey, it was, it was as if what they said was true because you never acted. You look, it caused men to ride over our heads. That's the way to the worthy place. If you doubt it, when you see Joseph ask him, if you doubt it, when you see David, ask him. David was anointed at 17. It took him more than 13 years. And all those things were preparing him. And when he got to the throne, you saw that his rulership was different. Somebody thank the Lord. And somebody, can you begin to prophesy? Can you begin to declare? My season of wilderness is over. Hey, I'm, I've come into my worthy place. We've come into our worthy place as a church. It's a new season. Weep not. If you are still weeping, don't weep. Stop weeping. Stop weeping. Because weeping may endure for the night. Because joy comes in the morning. The morning has come. Break out into singing. Break out into rejoicing. I'm telling you, that's the key. The key is rejoice. 
the key is sing. I remember when the last one hit, God said, No, rejoice, rejoice. And I took the rejoicing, and I took the rejoicing. And I remember telling somebody, telling the I said, Look, I don't have any sleepless night, I'm sleeping well. Because I'm under a command. The response, I'm telling you, if you have been crying, stop crying. If you have been crying, because it's not going to produce the result. It's a time to break out into singing. He said, sing, oh barren. Sing, oh barren. Sing, oh barren. Because the person, the, the more are the children of the desolate woman. Somebody break out into that is the that is the key. Sike take leborotoska. Somebody pray. Somebody, if you like, shout to the Lord. Go ahead and rejoice. Walk on that divine instruction. Walk on that pastoral instruction. I'm telling you. A new season is upon us. A new season is upon us. Oh, Shadabalaga de Lebos. Somebody pray in the Spirit. Somebody pray in the Spirit. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost. The presence of God is in this room. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost. Celebrate the Bos and the Labragadeska. Randeke Bosile Bare Telebo Sandelebos. Randeke Bosale Bare. Close your mouth. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. If you are filled with the Holy Ghost, open your mouth and pray loud and clear. Pray loud and clear. Somebody, a note of victory, a note of joy is coming. Joy is breaking out. Joy is a sign. Is a sign. As you pray in the Holy Ghost, as you pray in the Holy Ghost, you're gonna see joy breaking out. Joy breaking out. Joy breaking out. Repate. It is raining all around me. I can feel it. The lands are raining. Mantali brother in Shanda la braduska. Lerebo shada barade landa la bradila. Shabara katoli brada la galabara gade. Reketo prelegedo shana bandele buska. Rekede baro shada bandele buska la barade. Tali brada da basada la de, shabarade de de bo sada ba de. In the name of Jesus, barato se parada, korobo se de barigade skabarela. I bring you into your new season, new season, new season, new season. Kota palabela. New season, new possibilities. And I command new doors to open to you right now in the name of Jesus. And those that were closed, I command them to open right now. They open to you. 
trying to wave it aside there are people that have given up <laughs> you you have given up or even just at the verge you you know the way things have happened around you this this period even though i see you bubbling but you have already you know yourself god wants me to lay hands on you and usher in a new season and even cause that weight of heaviness to be taken away from you. If you know that you, you fall into this category, can you find, meet me in front here? I want to pray with you. You, you are just, you, are, you know, look at what he said. He sent troops to ride across our broken bodies. The bodies are already broken. Can we sing that song? It's a new season. It's a new day. Fresh anointing. Just release yourself to him. It's a season of power and prosperity. It's a new season. Call. Thank you for listening. For more inspiring messages, check out our YouTube and Telegram handles at Dogza Life TV and Dogza Life Telegram TV. You can also visit us at Dogza Life Premises, located at House of Mercy Auditorium, Union Greek Road, North Bank, Makodi. Or call us for prayers and partnership on 0814. 879-2013 and counseling on 0814-879-2013. Once again, thank you for listening. Jesus loves you.